I'm Edgar Wright and this is Trailers from Hell.com and today we're going to look at a very, very favourite film of mine, Brian De Palma's Phantom of the Paradise. Now I love, 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 love Phantom of the Paradise, but this is a pretty terrible trailer. It's like one of those old 70s, 60s trailers just where they just have long clips from the film without any real rhythm to it, but this is an amazing film. Now that's Paul Williams there playing Swan and actually what you didn't see there is he has one of the greatest entrance lines in the whole film. He comes in to the uh, harem of groupies and uh, sees uh, Winslow Leach, who's the phantom, dressed up as a woman, and says, Get that fag out of here. Which is one of my favourite lines. What an amazing entrance to make. Now, this is Brian De Palma's, like, sort of a really atypical De Palma film, because it's a rock opera and, uh, you know, a 70s music satire. And Paul Williams, who plays Swan, the kind of Phil Spector-ish kind of Svengali, he um uh, he he wrote all the songs in the film and you know there's some amazing ones particularly the end credit song which is uh, called the hell of it I think I saw this first on TV in the UK and I taped it off the TV and I would play the hell of it over and over again until the the tracking wore out on my VHS uh, that's Garrett Graham who plays Beef who's kind of playing like sort of a, a glam rock sort of superstar and um, Garrett Graham's performance in this is incredible. Everybody's really great in this. Like William Finley playing Winslow Leach, the Phantom, is amazing. The lovely and radiant Jessica Harper of Suspiria and uh, Stardust Memories fame. Um, she's incredible in the film too. It's just got an amazing kind of feel to it. And the thing I always liked about Phantom of the Paradise is that I always thought it was like much, much better and but less famous than Rocky Horror Picture Show. I always kind of felt like Rocky Horror Picture Show had a great first half and then completely loses it in the second half. And Phantom of the Paradise like, is really well sort of structured, it has a great rhythm, has amazing camera shots. There's an incredible, like, um, Brian De Palma outdoes himself with like doing a, a Touch of Evil reference. There's this uh, um, amazing steady cam shot where there's a bomb put in at the back of a, a prop car that's going to be on stage because the Phantom is waging war against um, Paul Williams' uh, signings, the Juicy Fruits, and he puts a um, he puts a bomb in the sort of a car that's going to appear on stage. But then De Palma, to sort of top like Touch of Evil, does a split screen as well. So it's like a sort of a split screen kind of De Palma shot and uh, Orson Welles kind of like homage at the same time. Um, also what's interesting with this is that, oh, there's a shot that we rip, tried to rip off in Hot Fuzz. I was always taken with the shot of the Phantom running down the corridor and the cloak billowing behind. It's funny, um, Death Records, which is the name of the label in uh, Phantom of the Paradise, it was originally supposed to be Swan Song, but then Led Zeppelin's uh, label, which I think is also Swan Records or Swan Song, threatened to sue. So you see throughout the film a lot of bits where the kind of the Death Records um, logo has been blacked out. Anyway, a terrible trailer, but an absolutely incredible film. I urge you to Netflix it now. Phantom of the Paradise. He's coming soon from 20th Century Fox, rated PG. He terrified a city, and no natural force could stop him.